Four is car four, Bob Stevens in a Monaro. From five, car number 43, Graham Stones in a Mazda. From six, 351, Russell Kramer in a Falcon. From position seven, car 40, Gary Wilmington in a Mustang. From eight, car 28, Tony Herbert in an Escort. From nine is car nine, Joseph Said in a Fiat. From position number 10, car 84, John Anderson in a Datsun. From 11 is car 44, Mal Rose in a Tirana. And from 12, car six, Trevor Ashby in an Escort. Also starting today in Stones, Laurie Hazelton, Steve Wosley, John Tesserero. At the man they will all have to beat is our pace man, our pole sitter. And that's Peter Fitzgerald from Victoria. 34 years of age. Has been driving a Starion, of course, in the um, series production racing. A Porsche in the uh, sports sedan. 79, second in the Australian Sports Car Championship. Third in the Group E series here at Amaru, second in the Sports Sedan series, and fifth in the GT title. He's an all-rounder, Gary. Certainly is. Fitzgerald took the chequered flag in the first round here last meeting, but John Burke finished up with the prize after Cam's put the uh, cancelled stamp on Fitzgerald's victory for passing under the yellow flag. So uh, they took all the points away from him. He's got to come out and start all over again. So it's the man that's alongside him on the front row of the grid that uh, has the points on the board so far in the Camelco Wonderlick Sports Sedan Series. That's John Burke in the Brian Hilton Toyota Celica, the 2GO supported car from up there on the coast. And it was very, very quick indeed here at the last Amaru meeting. Cloud cover, it's all over the circuit, and sprinkling rain outside. All this horsepower ready to be unleashed in the Camelco Wonderlick Series. What a hot field. And they get away with the Porsche away very smartly. About two car lengths. Bob Stevens goes between two cars. Burke is in more strife than Speedboard in 77. Manages to keep to the outside. Maybe got a clip off Bob Stevens coming up for the start. Stevens back into uh, third place. I think it's Bob Tittle up into second now. As the rest of the field goes through, including Gary Wilmington in car number 40. As they go through and now head down the back straight towards Mazda Corner. Yes, it was Bob Stevens that uh, gave Burke a shoulder as they came off the grid. And by gee, was, he did well to control the car, really, because he could have ended up in the wall right beneath our commentary position if he hadn't been careful. But he had to ease off ultimately on the turbo and uh, subsequently has been shuffled right back through the field. Bad luck for John Burke. Here they come along the Wonderlick corner and now onto the front straight at Amaru Park. This is the way it looks from inside the Porsche of Peter Fitzgerald. And just have a listen to it. Notice the mud getting across the circuit on the corner there at the top of the hill. And there. a good indication for those folk uh, watching around Australia, Amaru Park telecast, uh, some of the terrain of the circuit here, it is really a driver circuit, and it's a handful of a circuit too, particularly when you're driving a Porsche, as you can see, Peter uh, Fitzgerald at work as we carried you through with race cam, there's 68 in strife, Ken Davidson in the Capri, Ken's finding a safe place to put the machine before the rest of the field comes around, he joins back in the fray as Fitzgerald leads Bob Stevens down towards the lake bend with Bob Tyndall in third place and they've cleared out 250 metres. After that incident off the grid involving John Burke, by the way, he did leave the circuit, called into the pits for a quick check and is back out on the circuit but completely out of contention. Well, he was leading the point series because, uh, as you mentioned earlier, Gary, Peter Fitzgerald's points were taken off him in the first round. So it's marvellous how things have a way of squaring themselves up. Talking about squaring up, it's pretty hard to get past this car. If you're behind Bob Stevens on the circuit here at Amaru, this big Monaro uh, looks like the proverbial. <laughs> and it is a handful. 
still a very competitive race car. Great contrast, isn't it, between these two machines yes. up front, the uh, Porsche of Fitzgerald and the big Monaro of Bob Stevens. It's the Pacific Waste entry, the Monaro of Bob uh, Stevens. Not that far back behind uh, Peter Fitzgerald. In fact, there is the gap as they come up to Wonderly Corner again. And the third place driver is Bob Tindall. And there comes Tindall down up to the turn. Nice looking machine, that Tirana somewhere between the other two I guess because the Porsche is very lightweight the Monaro a great hulking brute of a car and the Tirana I guess would split the difference amazing those with the uh, fiberglass bodies and so forth they sometimes look a little bulkier and they uh, suggest Paul Fitzgerald uh, coming down towards uh, Honda Corner again the biggest problem for the drivers being the fact that they are running on slicks today and there's that fine film of uh, rain around the circuit the top five cars all qualified for this race in exactly the same time 52.4 seconds so there's not much between them there's Tyndall coming through he's trying to pull back Bob Stevens and there you can see Stevens going up the uh, Bitchapave Hill still uh, trailing Peter Fitzgerald in the Stanolite Porsche Best time, of course, to have a look at uh, race cam is when you've got cars in front of you. And here comes Peter Fitzgerald, the dangerous part of the race for him now, because he's got to thread his way in and out of some of these slower cars. We'll let the effects take over as we do another lap with Peter Fitzgerald. eat them all up and but look at this though while we were watching that look at bob stevens he's caught fitzgerald coming down on the inside oh this will be interesting fitzgerald really hanging the car out hanging the tail out there bob thought about the outside and ducking back underneath coming out of the corner fitzgerald's car's become skatey all of a sudden out against the uh, wally although he came off that corner quite comfortably now, we'll see if Stevens can uh, peg back the Porsche. They're going to be running up into traffic now as they head to the top of Bitcher Pave Hill. Look at the traffic right in front of them. Oh, slower car there. Remember, Stevens is right behind Fitzgerald. There's Stevens, still running in second place, Fitzgerald wide open racetrack at least down to Honda Corner as they come down to the left-hander. This is where the car was skating the last time, that's much better. Ooh, straight down, passing another of the slower cars. Still a couple of laps left. Right behind uh, Peter Fitzgerald is Bob Stevens in the Pacific Waste Monaro. They both take that corner very gingerly. Applied horsepower now as they swing down the back side of the course towards Mazda Corner. Two laps remaining. Down to Honda, another of the slower cars just in front of them. The driver very courteously signals through to the outside, Peter Fitzgerald. And Stevens will try and take the gap with him. <laughs> Fitzgerald deliberately held off there for a fraction of a second and then tried to whip past before the corner and leave uh, Stevens in the lurch. But Stevens managed to get around the slower car as well. One lap remains in the Canalco Wonderlic Sports Sedan Series and Bob Stevens 
very close indeed to Peter Fitzgerald's Porsche. Fitzgerald comes out of that corner nicely and straight. Stevens really has a job here on the inside as the two of them come down, but uh, Fitzgerald knows exactly where Bob Stevens is. Only about two more corners left for Bob Stevens. Can he do it? He's slingshot down on the inside, jumps the little, oh, and away he goes through in the last corner virtually of the race. Bad luck there for Peter Fitzgerald, but is he going to come back? They're coming up to the last corner, the right-hander. The checkered flag is already out, and Bob Stevens, the veteran Sydney driver from Annengrove, across the line, and he'll take the checkered flag. Closest finish of the day here at Amaru Park, and bad luck to uh, Peter Fitzgerald, who led that event down to uh, two corners from the finish. But they often say if you take on an Amaru Park specialist like uh, uh, Bob Stevens, you have to expect competition all the way down to the chequered flag. I think you'd agree, Gary, one of the best races we've seen here today. It certainly is. Big performance by uh, Bob Stevens. I mean, he tried his heart out all the way around the circuit. It looked as though uh, Fitzgerald would be able to to keep him covered uh, with some very, very superior driving on the part of Fitzgerald. And just when you thought he was going to hold out, uh, Bob Stevens has uh, gone for the big one down in towards Lake Corner. And uh, it's a very short straight in that big car at that speed. But Stevens managed to pull it off coming into the corner, grab the lead and uh, tear away to the checkered flag. Great performance by Bob Stevens. And we're going to have more of that when we return to Amaru Park. <laughs> 